Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I'm going to be covering all the XP buffs that you can get in 2023. Now I'm just going to be going over these very quickly in case there's a buff or two that you may not be aware of and I will link in the description all the videos that you will need to help you get that XP buff that you may be missing. So just to go through them quickly, to start with Barry Mentats is going to help increase your intelligence and just a note that the higher your intelligence is, is the more XP you will be getting. So a lot of these buffs do up your intelligence, in case you didn't know. Um, Blessing of the True Mothman and a Leader Bobblehead will give you bonus XP, 5%, and they do stack, of course. Um, intelligence Boost, that is from the Derby Machine. Kindred Spirit, it's the same thing as Well Rested. All you do is you rest in your bed for 30 seconds and you will have an extra 5% extra XP for one hour. Um, live and love is definitely needed if you're going to be being a herbivore, which is the better way at the moment to go for XP. I think after the next update, there will be a way including carnivore, but I'll get into that when, you know, it's updated. I um, just want to say to marsupial, a lot of people don't know about that. Um, if you have the marsupial serum, it takes away one intelligence. So if you do craft a marsupial serum and take it, it will suppress the negative mutation effects, which is plus one intelligence for an hour. It's not a lot, but I did want to cover everything here. So taking one marsupial serum will give you plus one intelligence for an hour if you already had marsupial. Um, another one is Nuka-Cola Twist. Not a lot of people knew about this, including myself up until recently like really recently it can give you plus two intelligence for 10 minutes and i'm pretty sure you can put cola nut on as well to maybe bring that to 20. i'm not sure if it'll if it, it'll bring that to 20 minutes I, I would have to test that and nuka cola inspiration cranberry i just wanted to point that out because you can get both ally buffs i will link the video in the description like i said so just make sure that you have both of those going and very well rested, of course, is for lunch boxes. Um, scouts call all that stuff, you know, that I just had going. It's not a necessity. I just wanted to point that out as well. And again, with the Nuka-Cola twist, like don't kill yourself trying to get those. It's only for 10 minutes and it's not a guarantee that you'll get intelligence. You might get perception or luck. So I just wanted to point that out. And of course, Brain Bombs and Cranberry Relish if you're going the herbivore route. If you're a carnivore, um, you will want to do Tasty Squirrel Stew and Scorch Beast Brain... I forget what it's called. Scorch Beast Brain Stew. Probably something like that. I can't think of the name, but it's Scorch Beast Brain that you're going to want to cook up to get that. But just keep in mind, you will not be getting as much XP as you would if you're uh, a herbivore because of the live and love magazine like i said that is looks like it's going to be updated uh in the near future so you can take a magazine for carnivore as well to get 11.25 intelligence bonus and a 37 percent extra xp bonus now to cover the mutations egghead definitely a must plus eight intelligence um herbivore like i was talking about is the better way to go for xp um, herd mentality is going to give you plus three intelligence as long as you join a team just want to keep in mind too you don't have to join a team with other people you can create your own team and you will still get the effects of herd mentality and you can also see that my marsupial here is not minus one intelligence and that's because i just took the serum so it will negate the um the negative effects for one hour and that's all the buffs everybody and i know it's a lot so I always tell people maybe if you want to go for a lot of these buffs or all of them, just, you know, start a little bit at a time and work your way up until you can get all of these going. Trust me, when I first started, you know, I didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's easier than you think. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Maybe write them down if you want to keep track of them all. Now to get into perks, must perks are Night Person, Inspirational, and Strange in Numbers. Night Person will give you a bonus intelligence, Inspirational gives you bonus XP, and Strange, or strange in Numbers will give you more for your food benefits. So all of those are a must. Include it with your intelligence maxed at 15 with the legendary perk card on of intelligence. And you're going to need a uh, shielded flannel shirt as well, which is... 
you know, not the easiest thing to get. Again, I will um, link some videos in the description that will help you get this if you don't have it. And it has to be shielded. It doesn't, well, sorry, it doesn't have to be, but if you want the plus three intelligence, it has to be shielded. And of course, a full set of unyielding armor. Doesn't matter what you wear, it just, it has to be unyielding. And if you can get plus one intelligence on it, then that's even better. And that's it, everybody. That covers all of the XP buffs that you will need to max out your XP. And then you can get loads of XP that I'm showing here. And this is very beneficial for people that are like level 1 to 200. You would be surprised how fast you can get to level 3, 4, even 500 using all of these buffs and running West Tech like I am here. Again, I will link in the description, you know, the proper way. Well, there is no proper way, but the way I run West Tech anyway, which is very efficient in my opinion. And yeah, everybody, I really hope this helps some people maybe find a couple XP buffs that they weren't aware of. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And just pay attention to the comments. There is a chance that I maybe missed something, but I really don't think I did. I was pretty careful with this video. But just keep in mind, you know, check out the comments. Maybe there's some other tips and tricks in there. I have a lot of knowledgeable followers, so just wanted to throw that out there as well. And again, you know, hit me up in the comments as well. If you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, again, thank you everybody for watching my videos. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic week, everybody. Take care.